Okay, gonna collect the 007 here with just a quick video on, originally it was gonna be about this knife that I just got in the mail today. And it's just a little bamboo, I don't know, everyday carry kind of uh, knife. I have no idea why I got it. It was on Amazon and I just ordered it and here it is. And it's a cool little knife if you like, you know, the style with the bamboo and everything like that. And uh, it is a non-lock back uh, knife. And it got me thinking about um, the really crazy knife laws that still exist in New York City today. So as of uh, 2019, they did change knife laws and they made a lot of uh, knives that um, were previously illegal now legal to carry. Uh, but people are still getting arrested. And recently I read about a fellow that had something similar to this. This was a Benchmade knife. And although it is not a switchblade, um, the officer saw this pocket clip si uh, sitting in his pocket and um, he was able to open it with one hand like that and he considered that to be a switchblade even though it is not there is no spring mechanism you have to do that to open it and after a couple of thousand dollars in legal fees the case was uh, dismissed but it goes to show that you're still better off if you're going into new york to have a knife that does not open so easily and does not lock open so this is something that once it's open it locks open and you have to push some kind of lever or clasp to close it so this would be an example of a knife that i still would not carry in new york um, other knives that are still obviously illegal in new york are the good old-fashioned switchblades like that if you get caught with that it's a felony you're up the creek so do not carry a switchblade in new york uh, obviously do not carry an out the front pocket knife in New York. If you get caught with something like that, you're definitely up the creek. Um, the Bally Song knife, still uh, quite illegal in New York City. So you can own them in your house, but uh, do not carry it in New York. You will get arrested. It is a felony. So that's something that uh, I would not carry. Also, anything that resembles a razor, even though this is really one of the most uh, basic type of knives, it does look like a straight razor, and that would be illegal to carry in New York, even though it is a non-locking uh, blade, so there's no mechanism that you have to uh, push to do it. That would be illegal, as well as a two-sided dirk knife or dagger. That would also be considered illegal. And lastly, one of the you know old-fashioned knives from the 1970s that were illegal for many, many years, and I have a collection of these 007 knives, um, something like this. Technically, it is legal, but because it locks into place, and again, you have to push this clasp to close it, um, I wouldn't bring this into New York. So um, that being said, what can you carry in New York? Basically, you can carry something like this. This is a, again, non-folding slip joint style knife. Um, the blade is under four inches, so if you were carrying this in your pocket, first of all, it's concealed. I wouldn't keep it hanging from this chain or anything like that. That would be legal. Um, something like this old knife from the 1960s. This is perfectly legal. Looks like a switchblade, but it's just a regular slip joint knife. Uh, you can go with something like this Rough Rider knife here. And although the blade uh, looks huge, it is just under four inches. So again, it does not lock into place. So that would be safe to uh, carry. Something like this bone handled uh, knife, that would also be safe to carry. Uh, if you wanted to, you could carry something like this handmade uh, sheep herding knife. And this was a knife from Europe that was used to remove sheep's testicles. And uh, if you want to carry that, perfectly legal to do so. Lots of luck with that. Uh, this is a little Gerber. Now, this is a tiny little Gerber. Uh, it's so small, I doubt you'd get in trouble, but it does lock into place. So that would be something in the gray area because this has a liner lock on it. So I don't know about that one. Um, this is an old knife also from the 70s. Um, just an old fashioned kind of Panther style knife. Um, it was always considered illegal because, again, it locked into place. So I would, uh, I would put that not in uh, the category of carrying. And last but not least, you can actually carry a fixed blade knife. Um, this is a little knife, you know, two inch blade on it. Comes with this little Kydex sheath. Um, you know, you can wear this as a neck knife, which I would recommend. Uh, so this way, it is totally concealed. 
and you are allowed to carry fixed blade knives. Uh, it's all basically on the intent. You know, what are you doing with the knife? If you're a construction worker, an electrician, a tradesman, and you're on your way to work and you need a knife that you might use in your everyday cast, uh, test, you know, then go ahead and, you know, carry something like that. If you want to risk carrying something like, you know, a one-handed non-assisted blade, you know, do so at your own risk. Again, to, to do so, you could be looking at thousands and thousands of dollars worth of fine. So uh, for me, when I go into New York City, I'm just going to carry something like this little cheapie that I got today. I believe this was like 10 bucks on Amazon, but it's very cool. And uh, hopefully I don't get arrested for carrying something like that. All right. So just a little update on New York City's archaic, uh, confusing knife laws. All right. Take care, everyone.